if you haven't figured it out already, we're down to sort of the nitty gritty type of work, type of jobs that you don't really want to do on a project, but you have to do to get it 100% complete. One thing is putting a finish on these exterior doors that are fiberglass. Now, Jamie doesn't want to paint them, so we're going to use a gel stain. So when they're done, they're going to look like a deep, dark hickory color, and they're going to look like real wood. This gel stain is like a gel. It's kind of like jelly. You brush it on and then wipe it off after three minutes and it sticks to vertical surfaces. Hope I can get that back in there. Never. <laughs> Never. Usually they come out easier than that. Hmm. Mm. If you are doing this, I would recommend pulling the gaskets out so that you can shut the doors without them contacting the gasket and rubbing the stain off. Yeah. But, um, hmm. It's just that last little bit. I don't it? want to yank on it. Man, that goes down in there. Oh, that's why. We decided to go ahead and tape the glass on these doors. The way we're doing it is lipping the tape up onto the frame, and then we're just cutting that with a knife. I think that's a pro tip. It's way faster than trying to get it lined up, and you're only losing like a quarter inch of your tape width. And if we can't go within an inch and a half <laughs> of this thing, we're going like this far out, we just need to quit anyway. So. Um, I, I, it might be a pro tip, we'll let you know in a minute if that seems to, uh, no, 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 no. what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm talking and not thinking. <laughs> there we go. What am I taping? There we go. Let it lip over a little bit. Test before staining on a hidden spot to make sure you like the color. I don't think we're doing that. Uh, I could test at the house, in my house. <laughs> you're right, no, no, you know, you're not leaving. <laughs> She's thick. It's like you almost want to pour it out into something else and stir it better. Is that my pencil? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. We're just staring at this gel stain and thinking that we need to get some chip brushes. It says you can rag it on, but it's so thick, it's gonna be a disaster if we try to rag it on. So we're gonna take an early lunch. Um, funny story, if you live in Bryson City and you're Jamie Perkins, you can just call your doctor and then swing by and they'll just check you out whenever you need. <laughs> I think he actually went to his house. I yeah, you know, the doctor maybe came to his house or he went to the doctor's house. Yeah. Gotta love small towns, I mean, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Guayabitos? Uh-oh, did Jamie? <laughs> Jamie just called? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Is he coming? It was Eric's idea. <laughs> Is he coming? Yeah. He goes, are you lying? I said, no, dude, we're so dude, busted. Yes, we're getting chips. We're so busted. Amazing. Mm. Burrito. Chalupa. People are staring at you. <laughs> He's never gonna make it here. He's literally known every single person. <laughs> These people have no ability to fast forward. Jamie's talking. Yo, let's get back from the doctor. No, I just I just talk to everybody, even if no, it don't matter. I'll, I'll say hi to everybody in here. So I had a piece of metal went in my ear when I was welding. I had my head turned sideways, and a metal molten magma. <laughs> hot metal went in my ear and burned the inside of my ear. Really? What did he say? But it didn't burn my eardrum. It did burn the inside of my ear canal. Really? Yeah, wow. it did. He said I have an ulcer in my ear. Wow. Yeah, mm. so I was concerned, so I went to the doctor. That's what responsible men do. Go, punch it. Yeah, buddy. We're getting this stain put on that you're supposed to wipe off after three minutes and we're looking at it and right now without wiping it it's about perfect because this this door has a lot of texture to it it's yeah. um the top little ribs if we wipe it are just gonna be no stain we're thinking we're just gonna brush it on and that's it leave it yeah i'm gonna try to abstain from wiping it okay <laughs> We 
did read in the instructions, just for anyone's information, that if you want a darker color, you're supposed to wipe it off and then reapply like eight to 10 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. It's <laughs> exactly my reaction. Yeah. So we're like, why don't we just leave the one coat thick? And the reason would be you have to brush it out perfectly like art. Like we are like doing this so carefully. Like the brush strokes are the final kind of composition of the art. Whereas you, if you wipe it off, it's all even. You take away the brush strokes and then you just reapply to get it darker. So we're just skipping all that and doing it this way. And I, I think it's okay, you think it's okay, Jamie thinks it's okay. Ray? Yeah. What yeah. do you think? I think it's great. We're gonna see if we can divide. That's and... not good. Oh, this Whoa, is Whoa, that was close, that about went on the deck. That. Come on, get out of there. All right, there we go. Okay. Little... Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sound <Good. effects. laughs> Jason and I are working on the front door of the house, which is super nerve wracking the way we're doing it. You have to get it perfect and you got about two minutes to get it, the brush strokes the way you want, and then it kind of gets too sticky and clumps. So I don't get nervous a lot, but right now I'm nervous about messing up the front door of Jamie's house. <laughs> Eric's working on the door and I'm holding it. That's about the that's extent of what I That's very important right now. And that's how much I got taped on the front. I got two pieces on it. And Eric couldn't, <laughs> just want Eric this, couldn't wait, so he just started going without me. I want so. this done and over with, because I'm getting really <laughs> tensed up about how I could screw this up. I mean, no one's gonna see the front door, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it don't matter. Oh my gosh. What do you think? It looks beautiful. Work for you? Oh, it's amazing. Did you even look at it? Nope. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit. Just enough to know I love it. It's not perfect, but... You know what? If it was a real piece of wood, it wouldn't be perfect. You're right. Mm. So we don't want it to be too perfect because it'll look fake. Yeah. But it, it is fake. Wow, I guess those guys didn't realize that I did most of that myself. Good job though. Yeah, good job. Great job. We're gonna cut to the shop really quick. This is the piece of wood that's going on top of those pieces of metal that we just installed. And I just wanna show you guys that's in progress. And it looks amazing. No, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> quiet, on, quiet on set. It's like, what is that noise? <laughs> Hey, little Christmas gift here from Sashco, who we work with out in Colorado. Spider Co. What could it be? I don't know. Had your name. I hope on it's the, a knife. Had your name on that box. Oh, I don't, it is I a don't knife. know what Spider Co. is yet. Uh, it's a knife company. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! And it is a knife. And it says Eric on what? it. What? What? Engraved? What? Dude, it's got his name on it. <laughs> oh, wow! I've never seen that. Holy that's moly. cool. Well, you that's know, good. That's good around our job site. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Sweet. I almost bought a knife at Mass General Store last weekend, too. Good thing you didn't. I know. I'd have been ticked. And it was like $200. <laughs> That's why I didn't buy well, it. Well, all of these say uh, all right. our names. Jono. Jono. Let's see. Ray Ray. Woo. Let's see. That's me. Jason E. As if there's another Jason. <laughs> that's me. Right Jason here. B. Jason E. They know the name of the truck. Thank you, Sashko. All right. Hey, that's, a, that's actually a great gift. I use knives every day of my life. And sometimes I lose them, the so I could always use a new one. We're about to pull it out, out and it is put it in. putting it in. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no! All right. This video is brought to you by House Pro, which is an all-in-one business solution for builders, contractors, remodelers, and designers. It's a web-based platform which means you can use it on your desktop or you can use it on your mobile device from pretty much anywhere, which is great. So House Pro has tons of great features that can help you streamline your business, make things easier for you. And they have a new one called Life Size Walkthroughs, which uses augmented reality to show your client like the finished product before you're even finished. This feature gives you tour ready, immersive models using just your smartphone. And before your grand AR tour with your client, you can add as many realistic details as you want to make the plan fully finished. It's just amazing. Clients are going to be amazed when they see your very best ideas come to life in their home right before their eyes. And it's a great way to get quick yeses and nos from your client on the spot so you don't waste time designing things that they don't like. 
And everything you do in the augmented reality life-size walkthrough is true to scale, which is really amazing. It's a really cool feature. Again, this is just one of the many great features that House Pro offers. So I would encourage you to click the link down in our video description. There's also a phone number and you can try it for free. See how much it can help you out. Thanks again to House Pro for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. Perkins crew, we cannot express how much we support. Uh oh, you just got blah, blah, blah. Uh, sorry, no, it's a lot. Sorry, don't worry. You ever start over? No, no, no. Um, no th lot. Thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Uh, this is going to be in video way after Christmas, a, but thank you a, anyway. There's a nice picture here of the whole, uh, uh, not the whole Sashko team, but a lot of them here. Okay. We, oh, yeah, know. yeah. There they are. Yep. So Sashko thank you team. guys. Love you guys. pressure but Jamie and Arlo are watching you. I know dude. <laughs> I can see him like this. I mean, try not to look but they're like that weighs uh more than a hundred well i hope so mm, i don't know maybe y'all carried five pounds each maybe then. 120 what do you think how much is this like you gonna shoot it or what well, i was waiting for you mr taking shots of uh, your house good. yeah the doors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love them. Yes. Uh, I don't think so. We're back at the job and it's been 24 hours since we put the gel stain on these doors. And in just a few minutes, we're gonna go ahead and try to put the top coat on. It's gonna be a spar urethane. Where yeah. is this stuff? Ex exterior. Exterior kind of polyurethane. He's gonna grab it. There it is. Hellsman spar urethane, clear satin. So satin's nice, it's not too shiny. And that's gonna be our top coat for the doors. We're gonna see if it's dried enough. It's been really cold, but it said 24 hours on the gel stain can. That's the whole rundown. I'm sure you guys were curious about all that. Arlo and I are checking out this post. It's an eight Bomba. by eight. It's a monster, and what are we gonna do? <laughs> what are we gonna do? I don't know. Um, we were thinking shop it flat and then chamfer the four edges and then maybe just smear the whole top of that with Lexel or something and then paint it. Yeah, that's I what mean, I would do. I, think. I don't think you can buy an 8x8 eight eight post cap around here. You probably can yeah. down at the coast. So we may be able to order one or make one out of copper. I don't know. We just are looking at this thing, and it just looks ridiculous. But it matches these bad boys, and that was the reason it was for alignment for a handrail that's going to connect here to here to actually grab and walk up the stairs because that doesn't pass code as your handrail. So let me ask you this. I'm thinking maybe an inch up on that at the most and then go, you know, yeah. thinking an inch and a half maybe after that. Maybe. Actually, I would I would go more. I'd go I'd go 3 or 4 inches here and one reason is just so you can get your saw like in there easier. Yeah, I know you probably cut you, the chamfer think, from the top. Don't, yeah, I can cut the chamfer from this way, so. I think the rest of them are sticking up 3 or 4 inches on the back and we can always cut it shorter. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, I won't wait till he gets back and see what. We'll just let Jamie decide. We just thought we'd try to decide, and then we couldn't decide. <laughs> you know what, Arlo? I say we just make an executive decision and just okay. do it. Let's, Let's just at, cut I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna look what you got. So we're gonna have to paint all, all these rails. It'd be nice if that was just done. So yeah, it's we're at it's like four, four inches, inches. So I think the bottom of the chamfer is like three inches up. And then yeah. Same thing on that thing. Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll go. We'll go four to the top and three, one down. Yeah, I don't uh, 
Um, well, it I, it, actually, it might it go. Is. I think it, is it still good? Oh, it's gonna hit your. Uh, but this guard can. The guard can't, can't get past. Okay, well, uh, right, handsaw yeah. maybe. There it is, we got the post chopped, we got it beveled, and we've got it sanded. And I think it looks fine. I think that was a good call, just to do it. We'll see what Jamie says. <laughs> well, we'll he'll, lo it. he'll love it, he'll love it. He's gonna have to. <laughs> we got one door top coated here. I'm not gonna touch it because it's wet. This stuff is pretty sticky. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend the chip brush at all. It was pulling these little hairs out of it, and then I was having to pick the little hairs out of the finish. Um, but I think it is dry enough to keep going. We were questioning whether it was. I don't think this stuff is ever gonna get fully hard, the gel stain stuff that is. It feels just a touch tacky, but this seems to be working. And the reason we're doing a top coat here is because if you didn't and someone touched like around the doorknob enough times on this gel stain, it would just rub it off eventually. So that's why it needs a top coat that's gonna dry really hard and protect that gel stain from getting just worn off the door eventually. See that cut job right there, bub? Mm. You like this better than painting? Uh, I don't mind putting poly on, I really don't. I think it's actually kind of fun. It's the same, but it's just clear it's, paint. I know, but it does. it's like you don't have to be so perfect with it because if it gets a little bit here, a little bit there, oh. you, know, you don't really see it, so. Just don't tell Jamie about I, this. Don't, does Jamie watch this? <laughs> does Jamie watch? <laughs> I go through an intersection. <laughs> Eric's like, I'll paint the stairs. <laughs> I wonder why. There's a certain moment where you're like, I wish I would have pre painted these risers. I was thinking that same thing. Why didn't we paint them before we put them up? Well, I was thinking I could get a nice nap on the job while I did it, so. It's well, working I should out. probably cut that because you can't see if it sucks or not. <laughs> way down there. You might want to clean it down here too, bud. Oh, I will. Before I get there, I'll clean it. I'm just making way down. I'm not going to clean anything. <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? The real reason I'm laying down is not because it's working better. It's because it's more comfortable. Like I've got sweatshirts and stuff on. I'm spreading my load out over a large area. If I'm kneeling on my knees doing this, it really kind of hurts. And this doesn't. It's very comfortable. Ray and Jamie are leaving. They're headed to the shop and they're going to start making this range hood vent thing. I quote Jamie. He said, I got it all in my head. 
as he was walking off. So, uh, good luck. I saw him write nothing. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Well, film it so we can see how it goes, yeah. okay? All right. All right, we'll see you later. I'm just going to paint this post. Well, that's it for our video today. We've reached the end of like 400 video clips that I threw in the editor this morning. Uh, that took a while. Thanks for building with us. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to check back for this range hood build thing Jamie was measuring for there. It became quite elaborate as you can imagine and turned out great in the end. So it's super fun to watch. Uh, make sure to get subscribed, give us a thumbs up, click the notifications bell. All those things help us out on YouTube, so we'd appreciate that. And make sure to check out in our video description, we have links down there, things you might enjoy and things we sell. We'll see you on the next one.